Or don't? Yeah. No. We are back. Pop, pop. Bing, bing, bong, bong. Back for what? We are back for a right pinky toe workout. Maybe incorporating the left. We are freaking deadlifting right now. We're going for six plates. This clip will make it in the video if I hit six plates. So if you're watching this. Let's make it happen. Woo. Let's go. If this dog was 17 hour fight, you make sure in life and to think about that person. You, you make sure the name and face is yours for gold. Personal desires and comforts. For gold sleep, you sacrifice to be the best. Stay hard. There's something about deadlifting in this gym. Like, environment definitely has a play with anything, but between this specific bar that I know is a deadlift bar, the place themselves, and the bounce on this deadlift um, platform that is pretty significant, not gonna lie. Um, I mean, that's not gonna help with a one rep max, but uh, repping things out, obviously it will, if we're doing touch and go. But yeah, deadlift better here. Just, you feel that way? Do you feel that way? What? Do you feel you deadlift better here? Oh yeah, 100%, 100%. I think you forgot that where you're talking into the mic, so you're not yeah. as loud, yeah, yeah. you know? <laughs> There we go. Yeah, that's Two more. Weird. Two more to go. So the game plan here is, we just played it up to four plates. So this is 405 pounds. Next, it's gonna be high 400s. So I'll go 25 on each side, then a 10. So that'll be 270, or I'm sorry, 475. And then I'll jump up to four or five forty-five, so I can get within that ninety percent of uh, five eighty-five, which is six plates. Woo! We're gonna go a double at four seventy-five. Then we're gonna do single five forty-five, and then, God willing, we we hit that five eighty-five life. Been trying for it for literally five years, four years. So. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh, it was easy. That Pristine. first one was so ugly, and that form was horrendous. Pristine. But... Yeah. Dude, I used to be way more into hip hop than I am now. What? I used to be way more into hip hop. Same. Like when I'm here, I would way more prefer listening to hip hop than house music. Yeah, yeah. It's gotta be like a really like you know standout song for me to like 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 it now. Come on. You just saying that to make me happy? All right, let's Stop go. Stop bro. Woo, come on. <laughs> it's in the bag. It's in the bag. It's easy. It's, it's in the bag. Oh, it's in the bag. Hundred <laughs> percent. Not even like the amount of doubt in my mind is so fucking minuscule. It's absurd <laughs> how in the bag it is. We, we should just leave now, actually. Let's, go. Let's just, we're leaving. Catch. <laughs> bum, bum. Come on, bro. Don't think, just go. You said three, bro. You said three. Fuck. 
fuck <laughs> out of here. <laughs> Go away. Bye. Goodbye. I'm out. Goodbye. I'll see you, bro. I'll see you. Fuck. Bro. Damn. Hey, bro. Mind if I'm in your way for like one rep of his? Yeah? <laughs> what is that? Good Six morning. Good morning. Six oh five. Deadlift all the plates. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Yes. Yo, like these are moments that I can just let pass by. I'm not gonna let it pass by. I've been trying to get sixth place for so long, and I've kept it inside. I've kept it inside. How much the song. I want it. The song. And now it's just gone. And it, does it matter? No, it doesn't fucking matter at all. But it also matters a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah, I wasn't recording the whole time, I'm sorry. We got some internal rotation. We got the elbows in front of his center line. If you draw a line down the side of his body, oh, splitting his body from me back to set. front. It was a talk on my set. Having the elbows slightly in front and a slight wrist internal rotation, we're gonna protect the rotator cuff a bit. Not having to be super exaggerated, but if he brought his elbows back to be in line with his center line and his wrists were super straight, I'll put a little too much strain on his shoulder. So this is way more natural to have the elbows a little bit in front. Great work, my friend. I was explaining for him. Thanks. Guys, it's kind of trippy because it's actually so loud in this freaking gym that we can't really hear each other. Yeah. Especially, oh shit. <laughs> Looks like I'm creeping on Brian right now, like. How we feeling? We only got 16, unfortunately. But we tried hard, that's what matters, guys. Give it your best. Nice. Closer? Yeah, I definitely want... Bro, these flies are next level. Our next level in here. Yeah, I definitely want full body, so get a little closer to my face if you could. Close. Yeah, I, just like be right here. Running into the battle. <laughs> you don't know what I said? Ow. I know you're saying some stupid ass shit. No, you don't. Why am I cursing? Dang it. Yeah, calm it down. I know, man. I'm like, every time, dude, like, I have the same narrative in my head. When we start talking, the first clip, every time at the gym is like, I'm not going to curse. I'm not going to curse this time. That first clip, I don't curse. We got to the second one starts, accountable. And I'm just like, <laughs> Let me get a free punch every time you cut. All right, in the fine. face. Guys, I told Ed I was looking at, uh, I was looking at like vintage motorcycles. Yesterday I was flying, my flights got delayed, I was trying to pass time. Check out the Thruxton RS, made by Triumph. It's the sickest looking bike ever. But uh, for reasons we're not gonna go deep on, Ed told me he would kill me if I get a bike. And true. he said if I do, he's gonna beat me up. Then, after that, never be my friend again. I want to know true. in the comment section, do you guys think Ed can beat me up? This is true, and I can't Because, beat him up. Look to be at quite frank, bro. I don't know. Maddie. Because I lift weights because I have a horrible self image, and I'm actually a pussy, and I want to trick people. You just cussed again. What's up? You just cussed again. Did I? Yeah, you see. Did. And you have another set. You got a set right there. You know that, I right? Know, I'm trying to waste time because oh. I'm exhausted. Where you, you guys up? think I would beat me up? Where you guys up? Choose me. I I'm super quick. I'm a natural basketball uh, basketball player. That means I have uh, technique and IQ. So that means I could take his ass. 
This guy's super slow, bro. What is he, like 245? 250? 260 pounds? Someone's walking by. Go no, back. Nope. Then... I would try to push it closer to failure on that, but because it's kind of a wonky position, I can't get as wide of a grip as I would like. Feel kind of constricted right there. Like we're pinching. Not trying to pinch a nerve in my neck or anything. Do anything in my upper back or traps. So push it until we got like an RPE seven, dare I say. Maybe like two, three more reps. And then call it. Unless you have straight bars at your gym or something where you can get a wider grip. Then actually behind the neck pushing, don't even go to failure. If you want to go to failure on it, which I would encourage you to, seeing that we're towards the end of the exercise. Props to a drop set, take off a little weight, do a regular overhead press in front of the neck right here and uh, drain the swamp. Swamp. A seven minute video, bro. All right, guys. We're about, where were we at? Like 20% in. We got a couple more. Did you say 40%? 20. 20%? Yeah. Damn. I just contemplated the depression of the, like what that meant if we were truly 20% in. No, we're like 80% in. After this, we have one more movement to round out uh, the workout. I'm feeling quite toasted. There's a big difference between training for strength, being able to move metal objects from point A to point B versus for size and aesthetics. This is a topic where there's only 40 bajillion hey, YouTube videos on it, but uh, the strength versus hypertrophy conversation, there's overlap. It's not black and white, but uh, generally as you get higher rep range and lower weight, you'll be forcing more blood into the muscle, tearing down that muscle more, and uh, conditioning that muscle to hold more size and uh yeah so that's what we're doing now and it's a much different sensation more cardiovascularly taxing all those things all right i'm getting that look from ed like can you stop talking please all right let's go yeah i got a question for you you like you like a aesthetics or aesthetics a aesthetics is literally not proper a english. aesthetic sounds cooler though you know that's how it if english was normal that's how you would if that's you, how you want would. to be looked at as not like the most intelligent human i'm fine with that's that fine. i'm fine with that it's, it's, it's interesting that you find that. So what happens to the A? I'm sorry? What happens to the A? Well, it's a... Uh, <laughs> a? It's A aesthetic? It's, it's, a, it's silent. It is? <laughs> it is a unique word. What? There's another word that's like that. A possum? Huh? Possum? The animal possum, bro? We should not be talking right now. <laughs> this is a, literally a waste of energy. Oh, stop stalling, bro. <laughs> I'm blessing this fucking bread, all right, man? Let me do my thing. Do your thing. It's, we're receiving communion. You're, you're not Catholic, never mind. I'm not worried. I'm fairly certain this album came out the year I lost my virginity, which would be age 16, on my birthday to my first serious girlfriend. I remember listening to this this is too much information. This is like a big... Are you talking about, if, if I heard whatever you're saying correctly... Dude, then, this yeah, whole filming situation in this freaking gym is hilarious because I'm talking about the most lame stuff I shouldn't even be talking about during a freaking workout. You can't hear what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm also talking to the camera, so I'm not even talking to you. Yeah, so... You're waiting for me to... Basically, <laughs> when 50 Cent was doing sit-ups upside down in this music video, I was getting my D a little bit the opposite of dry nice. for the first time. Nice, that's and what we wanted, wanted to hear. I'm freaking 30 years old. I should not be talking about this, all right. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, don't worry.
Oh, no. Jeez, bro. I got that pukey sensation right there at the end. Right in the pit of that stomach. Like, hey, that body's like, we're under a lot of stress. You're doing a lot of stuff. We're not getting oxygen as fast as we would like. And you dumb bitch, we're about to just throw shit out of this stomach. What'd you say? What'd you say? I'm talking about a dog. You can say that about dogs. You oh, dumb female dog. I know you're talking about dogs. How about? It's your turn, Papa. Guys, that's a wrap. Please be safe. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And, uh, yeah, just don't be a What? And work hard. What? I'm sorry.